Dorian. Dorian. Oh, Dorian is here. Good. Thanks for thanks for coming on. Um, we had you a little later, but uh, it's maybe you could get a little. You got a little flexible in the yeah, schedule, or no, maybe I was just mistaken. So thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it's the cube <laughs> after all. Come I mean, on. I can't believe these people missing their cube dates, Dave. I mean, like, come on, have a chance to sit down in the cube. People missing Don't their deadlines. Realize? So Don't Dorian, Don't Dorian's with uh, with EMC. He's a, a, a technology alliance person, yes. and. Uh, EMC, good friend. You know, you guys have been great. Been on the Cube a number of times. Yeah, yeah, The first Cube on, was at Gelsinger. EMC World. That's yeah, right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, do I need to move the microphone? Yeah. And, uh, People yeah, we had some good action uh, two weeks ago at, at EMC World. Yeah, yeah. And uh, had tremendous guests. We had Pat Gelsinger sat down with us for That's almost great. an hour. That's a great was, guy. Uh, fantastic. We're so very uh, lucky to have him. So you guys have been doing some interesting. We've been talking a lot about um, just desktop virtualization, yeah. VDI. We've been throwing VMware into the mix, but of course yeah. we're here at Citrix Synergy, and you guys have put out a proven solution, Correct. timed it nicely, exactly. with, uh, and I love, as you know, proven solutions, Todd Pavone, who of course has moved on to VCE, That's right. a friend, That's right. and I think he's, you guys have do, done tremendous yeah. work, Yeah, and um, you know, the whole idea of proven solutions is we're going to take a configuration, real world configuration, test it out, show you, document right. it, show you best practices, and customers love that. First of all, they love it because it's free, yeah, right. yeah, you right. Know, that's, that's one of the best freebies well, in the business. It, it, it's free, and the parts are available typically, right? We're not, we're not talking. It's not about, vaporware. It's not vaporware. You can buy the components, whether it be EMC components or, you know, in my case, we, we partner very closely with, you know, you name it, from Cisco to Brocade to, uh, you know, Citrix, and you name. We get all the pieces together. We get a, an architecture that's proven, that's tested, and and available. People can buy the pieces of it. So. Yeah. So this um, this proven solution was for a, uh, a desktop virtualization yes. environment for a thousand users. Is that right? A thousand desktops. That's correct. Now, what's, what's what was unique about this, and that's a good good memory, by the way. <laughs> what's unique What's unique about this is that you know, again, I don't know that EMC has necessarily been known for its desktop virtualization business. Clearly, on the server virtualization side, you know, lots lots of legacy there, lots of work with VMware. But on the desktop virtualization side, we're really, we're really taking a hard look at that business, and we're seeing that there's a tremendous amount of opportunity. And in order for us to play in it, we needed to get much more serious. So uh, to your point, we, uh, we did some baseline work to qualify some of the basic, you know, not only hypervisors, but, but you know, understand the desktop virtualization components, get those qualified. But then to develop those proven solutions, I think you're spot on. So what we announced yesterday was, again, a, a, a proven solution, 1,000 desktops, Leveraging our VNX, you know, our unified storage technology, Citrix Zen Desktop, um, and basically we were able to get a thousand virtual, a uh, thousand desktops up and running in under eight minutes, faster than than anyone's done it yet. And with the and the way we did that, because like I'm I'm sensing the next question, the way we did that was not, you know, obviously the VNX has got its its special technology, but we used flash drives. That's what was unique. Two flash drives, and we took the SAS drives down from hundred SAS drives to just twenty. So there's a real, we realize that there's, there's a real uh, importance of cost effectiveness in desktop virtualization. I mean, customers, they, they don't want to spend a lot of money here. They don't understand why they're spending money. So we're trying to help them with the cost. So I want to talk more about that flash before we do. So yep. what does that eight minutes mean? I mean, that's a record. You guys have been breaking it's, records all year. It's, it's, uh, uh, that's our theme. <laughs> uh, you know, listen, yeah. at, at the end of the day, you got a thousand, a thousand desktops, right? You need to power them on. You got what they call a boot storm. That's the kind of the, yep. the cute lingo term. So right? everybody comes in at, uh, at, at five and nine, turns on their PC or right after lunch. That's right. Wants to hit the email. They want to get on there. And typically this, we're seeing that typically takes anywhere from 10 to 30 to, you know, who knows how many minutes. It takes time. But we did it in under eight minutes. And again, I think, I think what that means is 1,000 desktops powered on, steady state, accessing what they need to access in eight minutes, under eight minutes. So what does an individual user see at, in that, uh, at that You know, I mean, whatever desktop, he, whatever he's able to see, right? Whatever, whatever the... No, I mean, you know, in terms of the time, it doesn't take me... It oh, like if it's an individual... It doesn't uh, mean it's eight minutes to boot Yeah, up no, PC, if it's one, right? person, so, yeah. one person at a time, it's, it's nearly instantaneous. Yeah. It's when you get that storm of a thousand, and again, how often are you seeing a thousand desktops, same time, ready to go, not very often. Yeah, no, so that, that brings me to my next question, which is, you know, a thousand is a relatively large number. I mean, you, you're right. not typically seeing deployments of, of virtual desktops in those yeah. numbers, or are you? Well, you know, it varies, right? I mean, we're, we're seeing lots of, there's various segments that we're seeing it in. There's some small companies, small businesses, small offices that are anywhere from the 30 to 50 range. So mm -hmm. we're, we're seeing that, and we have, we have architectures for that small environment, and we're working on architectures for that. Typically, we're seeing in the 500 range is about you know where we're seeing a sweet spot, 500 to 1,000. Where a lot of lot of companies and, and offices are doing that space. So we we decided to come out with a solution again. Thousand is 
it's, you don't, you know, up to a thousand, but let's say you have more. The, the other unique thing, it's a building block approach with this solution. So we can snap in another one and go to 2000 and another one go to 3000 and they, they just interoperate like automatically. So, uh, during you're talking about Flash, and yeah. now, uh, it was a few years ago now that EMC, we, we called it landed a haymaker when yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You, you put Flash into the, at the time, the, yeah. the DMX. Yeah. And yeah, that was yeah. cool, and I've been around a long time, so I remember SSD. Yeah, you know, absolutely. So it's back to the future for My me, goodness, but the big right. difference, of course, is that this time it's persistent. I mean, I guess right. it was persistent back then, too, but you needed a giant battery to, yeah. you know, <laughs> to keep it persistent, so it really wasn't. Right, and. Right. Uh, and so Flash is, is starting to permeate throughout the I.O. It stack, is, and a key is. part of that innovation is, is software. So talk a little bit about um, why that's important in a virtual yeah. desktop environment. No, it's, 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 about, it's about tiering, right? At the end of the day, I think you're right. I mean, the, the Flash helps accelerate. It helps do the things that, you know, uh, hundred, dozens of other drives would actually do in, in a smaller form factor, less, uh, less drives. But we're using our fast suite, you know, the automatic automatic uh, storage tiering product with fast cache. I think that's the real kind of the magic in there too, is for virtualization, for desktop virtualization, it's the combination of the flash drives uh, for, for instantaneous access, as well as that fast suite, right? That, it, that uh, the fast cache, I mean, that enables to offload uh, some of that work. And that's what's been unique for the virtual desktop environment. So Dorian, um, do you focus just you know, exclusively on on Citrix or what other alliances? Are you yeah, I mean, I'm I'm in technology alliances, so so. Uh, so what does not, that mean? Not not a product guy, right? <laughs> um, but uh, really, it's, we have uh, a group of very very important partners uh, that EMC focuses on uh, with dedicated teams uh, reporting up into Pat Gelsinger's organization. Um, so it's it's focused from you know, and what I like about that is it has a product side, but it, you know, but it also ties in the importance of partners to really having a holistic solution to take to market. Uh, the solutions is key there, right? Absolutely. I mean, well, to your point out, Todd Pavone, the gentleman that replaced Todd Pavone is a guy named Prasad Rampali. Yes, we've had Prasad on the queue. Oh, great, yeah. great. Uh, you know, clearly a visionary, uh, work very closely. The, uh, my, my organization reports directly into Prasad, uh, and he's been able to pull together not only the alliances organization, but the, the qualification cycles that we do with eLab reports under him as well, uh, as well as some of the field enablement through him as well. And obviously, very close relationship with Pat there from, from Intel days. So What uh, I liked about what Prasad was saying was um, John Furrier asked him what his vision was for Proven mm. Solutions. And he said he talked about his vision of scaling Proven yeah. Solutions, which is, I thought, really appealing because, you know, they're basically one-offs. So it's like, right. all right, we got to do Microsoft, or we got to do SAP, or we got to do Oracle today. And so yeah. how do you scale that? And that, that I think, is um, pretty interesting. Somebody of his background, he had, I think, 27 years at Intel. He's Absolutely. Like, I asked him. Right. How come you didn't hang out and try to beat Pat Gelsinger's record? Now? <laughs> but um, but so it's, you know that whole notion of solutions is very important with partners. We were at SAP Sapphire sure. uh, last week, and a number of your folks were there, uh, team members, talking about basically a lot of V-block stuff, a lot of virtualization sure. of SAP. It's critical for you know talking about putting mission or business critical applications in the cloud. Yep. Yep. You know virtualization or cloud or whatever you want to call it. You know those solutions are are, are, are vital. No, I agree. I agree. So is your um, Focus pr predominantly Citrix. You have other partners sure. that you focus no, on. No, I, I focus on Citrix, you right? Say, you know, exclusively. Really, really, yeah, really looking at. So you the go deep into the Citrix very deep, ecosystem, right? And it, you know, it's it's uh, I'd, I'd say it's still fairly new, in that we really, um, really are, are taking a hard look at the desktop virtualization space. And look at at the end of the day, let's be honest. You know, there's there's 20 million Zen app licenses out there today. Customers are at an inflection point where Citrix is trying to move them to to Zen Desktop. And I think, you know, let's, if we're being completely candid, I think EM, there's opportunity for EMC to be uh, more aggressive in that space. We clearly are aggressive in server virtualization, right? We've, we've been very, very successful there and are leading with virtualization and cloud. Um, but I don't know that customers necessarily have, have kind of equated EMC with desktop virtualization, right? And I think it's through the partnership with Citrix uh, and other partners too. I mean, we're, Cisco's a, a big player in this as well. We're working very closely with Cisco on this as well to develop s proven, you know, solutions, whether they be proven through us or, C or Cisco validated designs through Cisco to come out with these architectures that customers can now say, I get it, big players, tested, scalable solutions that, that, that are available and, and from, from all three parties. Well, I mean, I'll make an observation and if you, if you can comment if you want, and sure. I understand if you don't want to, but I mean, <laughs> generally speaking, I think that obviously VMware's done a tremendous job in server virtualization, but just by the fact that they've done so well in server virtualization, it's almost like people equate VMware in some instances and Vue, et cetera, you know, Horizon with desktop virtualization, but they're really 
different things. I mean, yeah, totally right. different and, things. And there's a third layer. There's application virtualization too. Yeah, right? absolutely. So there's, there's various yeah. players in various positions. Now, granted, clearly with VMware, um, obviously VMware View is a is, is a product that's competitive to to the Zen Desktop uh, suite, and we work very closely with VMware. There's we made some announcements last, oh, God, probably nearly six months ago on some architectures for View. But again, at, at EMC. You know, we, we need we need to be more agnostic to a certain degree. Well, and if you're going to be in this business, you got to be in the Citrix you know, desktop virtualization. No I mean, they're clearly it. the leader. So I guess the other point that I was going to make, and, and, and I think personally the, the opportunity for EMC or any storage company for that matter is just like server virtualization breaks storage, you know, desktop virtualization breaks storage, but for different reasons no, and in a different it, way. And so you true. need to architect solutions that are optimized for desktop virtualization. Right. And that's what presumably the proven solution that you're doing right, is no, all I, about. I, I think you're onto something really key here. And again, a, a typical desktop virtualization uh, customer really still, in some cases, doesn't understand what he's got underneath the covers, the importance and the value and the benefits that storage could bring to that environment. He's probably not thinking about that. So that's one area that Citrix and, and EMC are, are really thinking a lot about is, and that's to really address the costs and the complexities associated with infrastructure in a desktop virtualization environment. Our VNX line, particularly the VN, VNXE, the low end, has been a really kind of almost a godsend for that particular space because, again, they're spending money, they need to know why. So they get all the kind of the benefits of a, a proven solution, but they also get all the added benefits of an EMC storage platform, which has got foundations and disaster recovery and security and replication, all of that foundational stuff that is extra stuff that they may not even realize they're getting. Well, and I think there's another theme here. Uh, again, I'll make another observation and be interested in your comments. So Paul Moretz, great visionary, oh, love yeah. to hear oh, him yeah. speak. One of the things he said consistently is that uh, we have to move beyond uh, virtualization as a as a driver of cutting cost into yeah. more business enablement. Absolutely, and Agreed. and yeah, everybody agrees on that. And okay, that's that's good. It sounds good. It's good vision. Um, the reality is that desktop virtualization actually appears to be potentially more transformative than even server virtualization um, or potentially application virtualization because of mobile. No, I agree um, completely. You seeing that? No, I, no, I couldn't, couldn't agree more. No, I, I think it's definitely, it's something that we're, we've got our eye on as well, and we are definitely seeing that. Um, you know, it's, I think what will be interesting to see, and, and again, this is, we could go kind of chat a little bit about, is, is, is the, the rate of adoption, right? How quickly are people really going to, because there's, there's certain verticals we think make sense that are obvious, and they talked about it in some of the keynotes, healthcare and so forth, and the, the mobile business professional, but how quickly will it be pervasive across the industry is, is an interesting. Yeah, it's not mainstream today. We can agree right, on that, right? Right, right. But but I, but we we believe that it's it's going to be right. And I think you know clearly, uh, you know we're, we're hedging uh, aggressively bets with respect to virtualization and cloud. And this is this is a play in there. So yeah, and the users here are talking about well, I don't want to be in the device management business anymore. Right. I, I don't want right, to have to worry exactly. about. It. I want to worry about the data. I want to worry about user profile. So yeah, right, right, right. right. Good. Absolutely. All right, Dorian. Well, Good. thanks very much for oh, stopping pleasure. by the Cube and uh, being flexible with your schedule. Uh, uh, check it out. EMC's new proven solution: uh, the thousand desktops. Uh, pretty <laughs> impressive. So, Thank you. Uh, good luck with it. And, I appreciate uh, it. We'll be watching. Thank thanks you. Thanks for the time. I appreciate it. All right, we'll it. see you. All right, that was Dorian Neva, uh, Senior Director of Technology Alliances at EMC.